Hello everyone, it's up to Booty Hole 2 here, and I've got another Ravelworks 2 tutorial for you. It is how to build bridges. So uh, right now I've got my uh, track set up all right here. I custom made this. I uh, got some DLC right there, steam engines. Those are really cool. So uh, a little bit further down the line here, we've got our scenery here. So as you see, we've got a train track going over some water. Um, it does not look very realistic. Uh, I mean, look, the track is right over right there, and it just doesn't look realistic. Therefore, um, this is why bridges come in handy. Uh, so, gotta open, let me open up all these menus real quick. So click on the track tool, uh, go into there, wait for it to load. <clears throat> yeah, so, um... Yeah, so yeah, bridges. Okay, first off, you have to click the select tool. So select uh, a little bit in from where you want your bridge to be. Just give a real liberal amount of room right there, and then go to the next, the opposite side of the bridge. Left click, and then uh, click the offset button. Uh, it's yeah, right there. It's the offset button. Uh, click that, and then go down to the bottom right here, and type in zero zero zero, and then hit enter. Uh, it should put the yellow solid line right over the track. Um, oh, okay, hold on, let me do that again real quick. Just go to the very end of it, left click, then offset tool, zero, zero. Yeah, see, it's already there. So, uh, next, click on the bridges tool, right there, left click on that. Um, let's see, then you can go to... Uh, the metal bridge. Oh, let's just do that right now, just for a quick, just real quick. So then you just left click between these two arrows. There's a little box. I do is left click there, and the bridge will appear. So now we need to get the bridge a little bit lower. So let's lower it up uh, right here a little bit. See, it's, it doesn't line up with the ground exactly right. It's not going to be perfect, trust me. <clears throat> so I'm just going to lower this here a little up oh, too low. Go back up a little bit. Alright, there, that looks pretty good. So, uh, there we go. Um, there's our bridge. Uh, it's all set up here. See, it looks a lot more realistic. <clears throat> it looks pretty good, I'd say. So, to make the bridge even more realistic, we're going to put supports underneath it. So, go to the objects tools right there. And then go down to the bridges, viaducts, and tunnels button right there. So you left click that, and then you go down. See, you find bridge leg, one, two, three. Yeah. So let's just see. I'm gonna. I'll try this one out. See if this will work. All right. So you just. It's kind of hard to get underneath here. Get a good uh, <clears throat> view on the angle of the camera, so you can see right underneath the bridge. Um. Ah. Looks a little too short. Let's try. Ah, oh, no, it's not good. This looks. This looks good. This looks tall enough. Okay, let's try this. I made this viaduct. Uh, I made the water a little too deep. Okay, so just try to get it angled right, so it looks fancy. So it's aligned with the bridge. Um, it's a little too low. I'll raise it up just a little bit. All right, let's go to the other side. Uh, this is not gonna quite look right. All right, I'll just lower it down. Just make that. Looks like it's sitting on top of it. Now that is nice. That's really nice. So yeah. Uh, I guess that looks pretty good. So you just repeat that process on the other side of the bridge and you've got it. So there you go everyone. Uh, there's how to make bridges in Railworks 2. Please remember to subscribe and please like the video. That helps me a lot. So uh, thanks for watching. See ya.